this video tutorial we're going to show you how to add an entry into the income menu uh, it's quite simple just click on the add button uh, you've got two drivers in here one is a commission driver which is me as an example and one is a John A citizen which is the owner fictitious owner driver using fictitious DC numbers the numbers protruding in the driver is the DC number so that way we have drivers with the same name multiple drivers the same name you can identify them by the DC number. Okay, so we're going to do an owner one here. Now we're going to do select the shift. It's either day or night. We're going to do day. A taxi. If you had multiple taxis, you would have them in here. And you can only have one. So put the amount in, the date in. So we're going to put today's date. Now the number of jobs is the total number of jobs that was done for the shift. We're going to put today the 15. Now, the book jobs, these are the ones that are dispatched by the depot. So, today's sample, we're going to have 10. As you can see, there's automatically a government levy of $11 just being put in. 10 times a dollar plus 10 cents GST is 11. And the number of street hails is 5. Now, we're going to keep the figures very simple just for this test. So, we're going to put the meter sale as 0 and the finish is 300 and the kilometer zero 220 the paid kilometers now 125 now if you have two F post slips which is a possibility sometimes you drive longer than 12 hours and you have to re-sign on again but for this sample we're only going to have one so we're going to put in 160 and we will put in a reference number now obviously there's no second slip so we'll just hit enter. As you can see, the FPOS total is 160. If I was to add an extra slip, as you can see, it changes to 190. But for this sample, we're going to just leave it at zero. Okay, now lifting fee. This, for this sample, this car is set up as a maxi taxi. So we're going to have it where there is a lifting fee in it. And he did three wheelchairs during the night and included in the FPOS total of 160. $60 of that was lifting fees. Now, cab charge vouchers, they're the blue vouchers or the e-tickets. Um, for instance, we'll, we'll have $10. And depot vouchers, obviously the your own depot's vouchers. Uh, we'll have that as $10. Now, the manual MPTP, I'm going to show you this. Um, this is an emergency in Victoria. They're a white docket that you use if the FPOS system is down. Now, you only use it if it is down or the FPOS system tells you to use one. So for this sample, we are going to say we have one and the value of the docket was $12.30. And also some of the dockets are a lifting fee applicable and this one was. Uh, in some states are identified by a certain number on the card, which like in Victoria it has 3-1. So he, it was a lifting fee, so he's entitled to one lifting fee for that manual docket. And as you see straight down here, he's got $60 of lifting fee plus one manual of $20. The lifting fee is currently set at $20. So the owner receives $80 of lifting fees. Now the cash fuel, we had $20. Uh, no, miscellaneous, that's a car wash. We'll have $10 car wash. Account fuel. Now, to give you a breakdown of this income, as you see here, it says shift total 300, but we've only got 289 because $11 of it is the government's. So the driver, the owner actually only took $289, not 300. So that is taken off. Now, to work out the cash part of it, it's quite simple it's 300 less his deductions. So he had $160 there deduction, 10 there, there's 170, 180, a manual 1230, so that's 192.30. He also had $20 of cash fuel, so that's 212.30, and a $10 car wash, so it's 222.30, which is here, total deduction. So the total amount of cash that he had was 77.30. Because that does have the government levy as well. So we're going to type in the 
dollar seventy because that's what he had left. And hit the end of key. Okay. Now we're going to do a commission driver one. So we'll go yes. We we'll change that to Daniel Stacy, and we we'll put down the road day shift, and we'll put down the third. Okay. Now number of jobs. As you can see, also it changes. That says commission income, and all the rates are filled in. At this driver set at 55%, but you can manually change every driver in the drivers menu. So for this instance, he's done same thing, 15 jobs. And out of that book jobs, he's done 12. 12 of them are booked. So that's 12 times a dollar ten gives you 13.20. So you have to collect that 13 dollars 20 from the driver. It's not his money, it's the government's. He is responsible to pay the government the three street hails. So he owes the government three dollars thirty for himself, but you have to collect any booked jobs from the driver. This could vary from state to state, but in Victoria that is what it currently is at. Um, now the meter start, we're going to do this quite simple as well. We're going to set it at two hundred for the kilometre finish way and one thirty. As you said, the commission received is 45% of the 200, which gives you 90, and the commission paid of 110, which is what we paid the driver. Now, we're going to have two FPOS slips for this driver. We're going to have one at 90. We're going to put a reference in, and another one at 10. And we're going to put a reference in for that one as well. As you see, it adds the two FPOSs together, so it's currently got $100 at docks. Now, he, he did a wheelchair as well. Out of that, $20 was a lifting fee. He had $10 of cab charge and $10 of depot. He didn't do a manual. And you see down here, the lifting fee, $20. He's done one chair. 10 of it goes to the owner and 10 of it goes to the driver. That's fully changeable. I'll show you as soon as I finish this record how you can change it. And he had $20 of cash fuel. No miscellaneous, no account fuel. Now, we owe him $21.80. Now, how do we get this figure? Well, it's quite simple. He owes us $90 commission. He owes us the $5 insurance, which takes us to $95. Then the $13.20, which takes us to $108.20. He also owes us $10 lifting fee. So it takes us to $118.20. So 120 from 140 is 2180 we owe him. He had 140 introductions. Quite simply add them 90 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 20 gives you 140. And out of that he owed us 118. Oh, sorry, 100 yeah, 18 dollars 20. So he's got 13, 18, 20 there, just them two. 90. 120 plus the 20 fuel, 120 gives you the 2180. So we're going to pay him off straight away. So we go minus 2180. We gave him the cash straight away. So he asked you want to do nothing. Now to change the lifting fees, there's a little button here. It'll then close the income menu. You can go yes. Now it's quite simple. You can change that to 30. And the driver gets so the driver gets fifteen and you get fifteen. Update and exit. So that will now change the next time you add a record. Also got little options of extra things where you can pay off drivers, look at their shifts. If you see if you click on here, it'll actually move the records on the left. You can see them moving. See the records move. Different driver, refresh, and then comes up there. You've also got reports for week endings. There's some which you, you can capture in here. You can see as they run. Close that. And that concludes this video tutorial.